Hey everybody, this is Nick Cuenca from TheHyperloops.com and I'm here to bring you kind of an unusual video. Um, and this video is going to be about uh, repacked packs from 1990s FLIR basketball, NBA set. And uh, this is becoming uh, more of an issue, I believe, in the community because of these, uh, the price of these cards are uh, uh, skyrocketing because... Um, uh, some of the cards are becoming more and more valuable to grade as tens, and the incentive to uh, repack them and sell them as if they are fresh packs is much much higher. So um, I think you're also going to get some repacks from like back in the day because these cards were more valuable to do that to. Um, if you pulled Jordans, they were you know more collectible back then. Uh, you know some of the other also much more popular players at the time like Magic and Bird. So. Uh, I'm just going to give you, uh, I have three big tips, three big points that I think are telltale signs that these, in, this set in particular is repacks, and some of them might apply uh, to other packs. I think some of them, uh, I'll tell you the ones that do. So the big giveaway in this set is uh, from all the videos I've watched, all the cards, uh, the, all the cards, the packs, um, you are actually kind of like see-through. Um, and uh, one pack on my left and one the pack on my right, they almost look uh, identical from a distance. You know, if you're like buying a listing online, you're not going to see uh, much of a difference. However, if you examine them a little closer, you'll see this one right here. Uh, you see the player is, uh, the front of the player card, the picture is on the front. And all of them I've seen are like that. And I have seen some that are like upside down, like, like flipped 180 degrees. But uh, I never saw any that are like these, uh, the back of the cards. And also, uh, you'll notice the way they're bent is that they bend up uh, because that's just how the, they, they were printed. Like these bend down a little bit. Uh, these packs are, uh, I think, are for sure not repacks. Uh, they're nice and fresh. They look nicer, uh, brighter. They don't have like some dirt. They haven't been handled as much. So that's the first major tip is just that you're going to see the back uh, if they messed up. I mean, this is like a pretty... This is a bad job here. Whoever did this is a, a really horrible job uh, in repacking these. So that's the first major tip on this set. Uh, the second set, uh, this the second tip is uh, uh, the way you re repack these, and I'm not going to tell you how to do this, but uh, you're going to take a heating element uh, and heat the back of these. Um, as you can tell here, these are nice and white, uh, very crisp, very clean. But these right here, if you look at them, pretty dingy. Uh, and uh, you see right here, sort of almost like greasy looking. Uh, that means that it's sort of uh, whoever took the heating element uh, uh, heated it to the point where uh, it would, it would uh, you know, it would melt it and, and seal it. But it also compromises the rest of the pack. Now, a big deviation, if you see right here on the corner, Right there, you see that that dark bit? That's a burn mark. That burn mark meant that they just went a little too hard on it. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, if you heat these long enough, it's going to show uh, these kind of marks. Now, this pack's actually, comparatively to the ones I got, uh, you'll see that uh, some of them have even more burn marks here. Uh, right here, some more burn marks. Um, it's something that, like, if you're if you're watching in an auction, you can actually probably tell uh, if someone flips in. Uh, another giveaway here is um, I don't know if this is necessarily true. I've heard that if the the center here, uh, if it's not perfectly centered, then uh, yeah, just wow, look at that right there. See that burn mark? If you're seeing that, if it's perfectly, if it's not as centered as some of the other ones. Like if you see right here, that's pretty centered. Um, these are pretty centered here. It's pretty centered there. So yeah, so uh, that's the first tip. Uh, the centering thing, I'm not sure about, but I think someone said that that was it. And so I'd watch out for that. Um, on top of everything else, these are obviously not as centered. Now, another thing is you're going to find that with the heating element, uh, this is going to stick to the back of it, right? Like, look how sticky that is. Like, I can't move 
Uh, it's they, they went too hard on it, and it's now stuck to the back of the pack. Uh, these right here, these sort of pop out uh, nice and easy. Uh, these do not. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, like this right here is like real dark, like... Uh, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's definitely sort of stained. Uh, so that's another thing. The packs are too tight. There's no give to them. Um, essentially, uh, right here is a little give, but since they heated it, it kind of stuck to the back of it. Right there, yep. So, too tight. Uh, and um, so, uh, those are the three main ways to tell. Uh, I would put the, the straight line issue uh, as a as a maybe. Uh, if a lot of them are like that, I think once in a while if you get uh, like these right here, I got these from a box, they're nice and straight, like you will see this sort of thing um, once in a while from the pack. But um, yeah, so this isn't necessarily a, a telltale sign. I think they do they did, they did come out like that from the, uh, the manufacturer. Um, and actually, if you watch a lot of unboxing videos, you will see that uh, the packs actually come out pretty easy. Um, they're not sealed very tight at all. Uh, so you will see that uh, some of these are, um, you know, uh, they will open easier than others. You know, like this one definitely will open easier than these. Uh, so yeah, so that's a, you know, there's a, also, there's a, also other ways to tell, like, um, or just, you know, buying quality uh, boxes. Uh, you're going to see stuff like, um, like the boxes are dirty, the packs are kind of dirty, um, you know, like the more you handle them, the more like dirt they are, you know, like hands are greasy and all that sort of stuff. So uh, that's another telltale sign. You want to really try to find packs uh, that are from cases if you can. Those end up being more expensive, but I think that you will end up being happier with what you open. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Just let me know if uh, this helped you in your in your quest. Um, I did buy these, and I'm pretty sure that these are legit just by how like nice they look. Um, if these are repacks, then uh, the person did a really good job. Um, you know, but if you think these are repacks, you know, let me know. Like uh, they uh, they all the packs sort of have this like see through element. Like you can tell if you really try uh, who the card is. Definitely on the front is easier. Like this guy's from the Jazz for sure, I think, or maybe not. Yeah, so it's not as easy. Oh, this guy's from the Timberwolves for sure. You can see that. I don't know if that even comes up in the camera, but I can definitely tell. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think of this video, uh, and uh, buyer beware.